Morning folks, I'm on the balcony for no particular reason and now I realise there's real men down there doing men's work so I'll come in here where they can't see or hear me. Pam's here still. And you say real men. So well, no, they're down there. Oh. You're wearing your comic book t-shirt, you're not a real man. Yeah. And he's wearing his comic book t-shirt because today's the day where we're going to head over to Comic-Con which we're going to go to in a minute. We've just been out for some breakfast down the road. It's all very pleasant. Airbnb, still a big thumbs up for me so far. Enjoying it? Yeah, so far so good. Still can't believe this is cheaper than a hotel. The world's insane. But uh, I think the plan now is Anna's got her PlayStation down there. She's now going to be, here she is, look. Anna's going to be staying here now yep. for most of the day, playing the new Assassin's Creed game on her PS4. <coughs> Well, me and Pab head over to the Axel to have a bit of a taste of Comic-Con. He's already been in all day yesterday and seen everything there is to see. So I'm going to get the, the tour from Pab. Um, then we, we are going to head over to Covent Garden to go to Forbidden Planet as well. Look how excited he is. Makes him do karate, he's that excited. That's why I'm not going. <laughs> and then we're going to come back here later on today, pick Anna up, and then we're all heading out for some barbecue food. We haven't had any for ages. And hopefully meet some of you lot which was very, very cool. But I think it's time to get this show on the road. We made it in, usual Saturday morning busyness. Well, I think it's officially just Saturday afternoon, but we're gonna probably just do maybe a lap of an hour or so now. There's a lot of WWE stuff here that I wanna go and find and have a look at, because Anna won't wanna look at that tomorrow. But our main plan for today, quick circuit, buy anything Anna wouldn't let me buy normally, and then head over to Forbidden Planet and just fill our boots over there because she hates that and she'll be coming here with us tomorrow. So the more the more normal person stuff here, we can do that tomorrow with Anna. Which way's wrestling? Wrestling. Got a uh, different fella from Star Trek here this time. There was one instruction Anna gave me when we left this morning and that was do not buy a universal title because she'll just destroy it. It's only 340 quid. However, she was quite specific that I'm not to buy the Universal title. We have that so, we have I could buy the NXT title, or the Intercontinental title, and that wasn't something I was banned from doing. Or I could just get one of the little kiddies women's titles for 25 quid, and pretend I spent 340 on it, and she wouldn't know any different. And it would amuse me. Again, on the list of things I'm not allowed to buy, she didn't specify I wasn't allowed to spend 130 pounds on a CM Punk signed elite figure. So, I think that's probably allowed. You good? Now I'm basically The Undertaker. Loads of WWE stuff here this year. A little disappointed that I missed Pete Dunne being here yesterday though. He's not here today, very, very sad. He's a wrestler, if you're not into wrestling. Bit of a uh, Batmobile situation going on behind me, it seems. We've got uh, full on Captain Kirk and his Star Trek battle troop behind us. Going on there. Don't really know what the glow sticks are for. Massive queues for Super Mario Odyssey, as expected. Even though the game's already out, but I guess people, it's people who haven't got a Switch, queuing to try it out and make their buying decision today. Now, as you know, I love a Funko Pop. Not going to queue to get into the Funko area, though. Hopefully tomorrow, the queue will be much smaller. That being said, what are the convention exclu exclusives? Do they have any convention exclusives? Ah, so they're not exclusive to here? No. Then, um, I do want this for hype though. Because that's awesome. This is heavier than I thought it was going to be. This is heavier than I was expecting. I think my microphone was off for the Black Panther bit, but we also have stuff from Thor Ragnarok as well. So Loki, some big hammers. I think over this side, we're probably gonna have Thor and his cronies. Valkyrie. It's the man himself not here. No. No, Thor himself, that's very disappointing. Where's Thor? Oh, at the end there, just in his daddy ape costume. Yeah. I want normal Thor, not with a hat. No. Sad. Okay, the 
doing the Mawam dance. Perhaps buying himself a Rick and Morty board game. Yeah. Because that's the level he's now sunk to. <laughs> Justice League is finally complete. We managed about an hour and a half in there in the end, which is not bad for the Saturday Comic Con weekend because it is the busiest time, as you can see, by all of the people crowding around me and just the sea of people over here when we get over there in a second. Don't panic if you want more Comic Con excitement. We are going to be back tomorrow and there'll be more Comic Con focused stuff tomorrow. But for now, because we've got this. Because we've been given the afternoon with Anna playing her game, we're now going to head over to Forbidden Planet and for the first time ever, go in there without being on a time limit. Lots of people. Somehow I've let Pab convince me that this is the quickest way for us to get to Forbidden Planet. This might be about to get messy, everybody. We've made it over to Covent Garden. Forbidden Planet, the greatest comic book shop in the universe. It's just there. Now, I've been told not to film in here many times, so I'm probably not gonna be able to film in here. You wouldn't wanna see anyway. We usually get about 20 minutes before Anna comes in and fetches us, but we're here with no female influence. This could be the rest of our day, quite comfortably. Forbidden Planet, very successful trip. Yeah. We only spent 20 quid between us, Anna, so we did alright in the end. There was three comics in there as well for yeah. Halloween. Halloween first. Halloween three comics, so woohoo! But uh, it's now half past three. I don't know what time it was when we went in, probably about half past one, two o'clock. We were in there a little while. Well, a bit of an hour at the moment. <laughs> um, we're now having a slow walk back to Covent Garden Tube, I think. Might even stumble across an ice cream on the way, but then we're gonna head back, pick up Anna, get our glad rags on, and get ready for round two of Bodine's this evening, which is gonna be marvelous. However, I am tempted to get a meat cone from this place. A meat, a meat cone. Madness. As usual, on our little trips, I've tasked Pab with finding me the best ice cream. We're in a five minute radius of where we currently are. He's got his Google Maps out. We're going. We're heading for it. Yeah, right here. This would better be a good ice cream. You're leading me down a side street. This is where all the best ice cream is. Uh, ice cream. I suppose. Ah, oh, scoop. Magic. Good work. Apologies for the sound and image quality. I've had to just use my phone to have the biggest ice creams in the world. They are, they're quite impressive. That's from scoop. Just there. Well, they're very pleasant. That was a good ice cream. What was also good was that they gave me a little spoon so I was able to eat mine relatively easily even though it's still all over my face. Him having to do it all with his tongue and bless him as he's struggling. Hard work. You're not in the same league as me when it comes to ice cream consumption. He's got a lot to learn but I'm willing to teach him. Look what we found! We've got one of these again! A female? A female! <laughs> We've hardly had any females all day. It's been like Christmas, just been telling you to. You had a good day? Yeah, I've had no Andy, I've had no Kevin. Been just been playing on your little video game? Little video game. Is it good? Yeah. Splendid. Everything only just stayed today and then a little bit extra, so I didn't really get that far. Okay. But it's fine, after all the updating. Splendid. Well, our, our table for 12 that we had booked for barbecue is gradually getting smaller and smaller. Sheepdog's now not coming, and he was five people. Not because of the size of him, because he was bringing his kids and stuff with him. But he's now cancelled, he can't make over, he's stuck in Comic-Con. I haven't even seen him all weekend. He's around somewhere, I'm assured. But because we're now going at 5.45 rather than seven, we're not entirely sure who else is coming, because I've tried to get the word out that it's an hour and a quarter early, but it seems to be a bit of a struggle to get any response out of anyone, so there's a chance it could just be the three of us. We've just had Bodines on the phone to confirm our table for 12, and I've given them the, oh well, half the group can't make it now, so let's make it six. And we're gonna have to go in there now and so, say, yeah, you know that table for six you've got set aside for us? Let's make it three. And they're gonna be cross, and it'll be the same waitress as last night, probably. We'll have to eat for six then. <laughs> yeah, I can handle that. Yeah. What are we gonna do if all the staff are the same as last night? We walk in and they say, do you want the same again? No, I don't want the same again. 
because goodness me has it upset my insides. Um, I've also had a little bit of an accident in the hotel. <laughs> I've had to put one of the towels in the washing machine. It's not a hotel, is it? It's an Airbnb, no. call it proper. But I ruined the towel, I spilt my coffee all over the bathroom floor, cleaned it up with a towel, and that's now in the washing machine. So, good job there was a washing machine. I don't think we've ever been down here in daylight before. Have we ever been down here in daylight before? Um, so there's Tower Bridge in daylight. food thing. No, that was up on the embankment further around, near the London Eye. But yeah, we tried to film it last night. It was nice with the pretty lights on, but there's Tower Bridge again in daylight. Um, there's the Tower of London in daylight. And there's our Airbnb's behind there somewhere in daylight. It won't be daylight when we come back again. At the moment, still just the three of this. Anna says I have to do some talking with this in the background because it's a good thing to have behind me. Personally, I think that's a better view to have behind me because I prefer the shiny new London skyline to the old, old London bits. And can you see the Tower of London? It's quite far away. We want to go on a party boat, but I don't know how you do it. And we don't really want to party, we just want to ride up and down in a boat. Well, it looks like you go on it over there a lot. There's the exact yeah. same one. Well, one. you could get, when we were over near the cable cars earlier, near the O2, you can get on it there and come down to here. Why so, because we were going all the way over there to get to the comic shop. But perhaps in the morning, when we've checked out, we Have you could. Have people where we're going in the morning? We're going to Comic Con. We'll, we'll tell them about that. We'll be a surprise for tomorrow. We're going to a special breakfast place tomorrow. But what I'm thinking is in the morning, once we've checked out, we could. Don't I'm not. I, well, I'll try not to. <laughs> These two are both panicking that I'm holding the camera over the river now. Yeah, but you dropped things last night. Ah, I don't drop anything. You, you just told you me that you, that you <laughs> dropped your coffee all over the floor. Uh, well, even now, if I drop it, it's just going to slide down this thing. But what I think we should do in the morning is, once we've checked out, come down here, get on a boat from here go up to the O2 and then across the cable cars. Why is it turning? Why is it? Yeah. <laughs> the city cruises boat is turning around. Are we on board with my idea? Maybe, never know. In all the years we've been coming down to London, we've never been to this bit because whenever we come for dinner usually over here, it's usually closed. They close this bit as soon as the sun starts to go down. But we've managed to get through just before it closes. So we're right next to Tower of London. It's a bit of a shortcut as well. We've got to be at the restaurant in 15 minutes. We are cutting it a bit fine, especially as the longer it goes on without me hearing from anybody, the more I suspect it's just going to be the three of us turning up for what was originally booked for a table of 12. It's all gone wrong. Turned out it's just the three of us in the end, and they did make the same mistake that they did in the last restaurant. They brought the cause light, but they gave it to me and tried to give Anna my cream soda. When will waiters ever learn? Well, in an unexpected and unplanned turn of events, we find ourselves in a coach station <laughs> at the back of an open top bus for an hour and a half or whatever oh, it is, joy. open top bus tour around joy. London at night. I could be in Egypt now. For those of you new to the channel, I, I, get, <laughs> I get desperately bad travel sickness. This is not going to end well for anybody. Well, that's why I should have been out the side, so I can be sick onto the road. Sit there, then. Yeah, no, because my legs don't fit no, in. Shut I'm all right here. I'm right in the middle. I'm basically king of the bus. Oh, Westminster Abbey over there. Never been there before. Big Ben behind me. It's not Big Ben. <laughs> that's the what? bell. Big Ben is the bell. I'm talking about the bell. Okay. Big bell fan around here. <laughs> London Eye over there. Trafalgar Square yeah. over there. St Paul's Cathedral behind me. We're now pretty much back where we started our evening on the left in a second. It's going to be Bodine's where we had dinner. I think we're going to go over Tower Bridge that we walked over earlier today looking at the map. <laughs> and then pretty much go past the flat and then all the way back into the middle of London again. So here on the left, Bodine's. It's just gone nine. It's pretty cold now. We've just gone past the flat that we're staying in. Let's check in again when we get back here, because I think we've seen just about all of London sites at this point, and most of the journey from here is going to be getting back so that we can then get back again. There's no bell to ring though. And in answer to that question, posed from the party bus, 10.38 is the time we've made it back to the flat. Hello. Hello. We started today's vlog on the balcony. 
and if we turn around this way to get some light in our faces, we'll be able to end today's vlog on the balcony as well. That's still not enough light, let's come in here. We have an early start planned for tomorrow morning. We're gonna aim to go to somewhere called the Breakfast Club, which opens at eight. And because we get the extra hour in bed tonight, because the clocks are changing, we're thinking, let's get there for eight. It's only a 10 minute walk away, so we're gonna aim to get there because it's apparently the hipster place to have breakfast. There was a queue outside it this morning. And as the originator of hipsters, beard and glasses, I wanna go and eat when the hipsters eat. So we're gonna do that in the morning. There was a whole load of footage taken when we were on that tour bus, but I don't, by Anna, but I don't have my SD card converter with me because I left it at home. So that'll be on tomorrow's vlog, but there will be the little clips of me being on there. But we'll see how good the GoPro footage is tomorrow. We'll include a bit tomorrow, because it'll be very cool. But we will end today's vlog here. Tomorrow is the Comic-Con vlog. And then, of course, Andy will be back on tomorrow towards the end of the vlog as well when we get home. So if you missed him today, don't worry, he'll be on tomorrow. If you have enjoyed today's vlog, please make sure you pop a nice big thumbs up on there for us. Subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more. And thank you very much for watching. You know what to do, people. Say bye-bye, Hannah. Bye. Yeah.